Some time ago, I got a message from a friend in Hong Kong. He sent me a link to an Alibaba website where they are selling some Chinese-made air tags for around 10 US dollars. From the look of it, they work with the Apple Find My network. I also found similar air tags being sold on AliExpress with a slightly different appearance but a similar price tag. So how would these AirTags perform compared to the real AirTag? About two weeks later I received both tags. One is called the Trangyan Finder and the other one from AliExpress is simply called iTag. A quick comparison showed that the Trangyan and iTag are clearly a bit bigger than the original Apple AirTag. The Trangyan comes with a keychain and it beeps quite often when it's not paired or moving while it's not with its owner. Removing the speaker is peanuts and doesn't require any tools. You simply open the tracker and remove the speaker with your nail. How about that for easy speaker removal? The black AliExpress iTag is a somewhat similar story. The speaker can be easily opened with a sharp knife and this will mute the iTag as well. Once paired with my account, the Trangyan shows as model P03 and the iTag seems to be made by a Shenzhen based technology company. The most important thing, how do these perform? So I decided to send them to Hong Kong and track them with my scripts and see if there were any differences. After mailing the parcel, it went to Amsterdam airport and flew to Doha in Qatar. From there it flew to Hong Kong and it was delivered to my friend the next day. While my friend was carrying the tags around, he got the stalker warning on his phone for all three devices, so they perform this way in a similar manner. So how do these tags perform? This dataset covers about two weeks of data, starting with me sending the parcel and it ends a few days after my friend receives the parcel in Hong Kong. Let's start with the original AirTag. It sent me 1194 updates. The Trangyang Finder performed very similar with 1200 updates. And the black iTag is lagging behind with 1018 updates. After I took this dataset, both the Trangyang and the iTag reported low battery values while the real AirTag did not. They all had three brand new batteries inside of them. My friend replaced the batteries for both the Trangyang and the iTag and he carried it around Hong Kong for another week. This data from that week shows again the black iTag lagging behind on the Trangyang and the real AirTag. To make things worse, the black iTag already had battery issues again a few days later. So what's the conclusion? These Chinese AirTags are good for experiments that might cause you to lose the AirTag. The somewhat flaky battery problems and their design doesn't match up with the real AirTag. The Trangyang Finder seems to be an interesting budget option, which is performing very similarly to the original AirTag in number of updates. The AliExpress iTag should be avoided, I guess. It seems to have some battery design problems and the updates are a lot less frequent. Next week, I will have a more traditional video where we will travel to the Pacific. See you next week.